Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome back to JD Plays Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. And we're in the bug world, we're in Erebus, and hopefully you watched the last video and you enjoyed it and you're like, yo, I want to go see what happens to this guy. And if so, hopefully you click that like button or that subscribe button or both, and hopefully you left me a comment. But if not, do it now. Go click it. Thanks. All right, let's get started. Here we go. So I have no idea what to expect in Erebus, I will be perfectly honest. I know I do not have a crossbow made yet, and I'm sure that I'm going to regret that. But we're going to start out heading south in Erebus. And I'm just going to dig myself a little ways in. And then, um, do I have wood on me? I think I do, right? I should have some wood from, uh, from some of the other stuff that I've interacted with. All right, like some wood. Wood. No. Uh, what did I do with that wood? I know I had some. We are full on emeralds, so my entire machine system is about to get shut down because of uh, emeralds. That is glorious. Did I really bring no wood at all? Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, let's start pulling these out because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to fill up my entire inventory system with emeralds. Actually, let's just do this real quick. Let's do this. Before we go crazy in here, let's grab some wood. We're right by the portal right now anyways. And I can go fix this emerald issue that we're about to have. So apparently my system is now so full of emeralds, it has nothing to do with them. 6,656 emeralds. Okay. Is, is this thing fully upgraded? It is not. So let's just take this and put that on there and then grab one, two, three, four diamonds. Swap out the diamonds for this. I should have some upgrades, right? Not these, but these can be used to make obsidian or gold. And these can be used to make obsidian. What did I do with those obsidian upgrades? I had a bunch of obsidian upgrades somewhere. I don't know where I've put them. But that was a thing at one time. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. Uh... I'll figure that out later, but for now, the Emerald Empire can continue to grow. That's that's what matters, right? I'll even go so far as to go ahead and strap down some additional iron for now, because it's better than nothing, right? And I'll build these up later. Okay, um, toss out anything I can real quick that I don't need. Grab this. Do I want to make a crossbow? Do I want to make? I, I do want to make a crossbow. But I don't know that I want to take the time that it would take right this moment to make one. Instead, I think what I'm going to do is, do I have any, do you want to build a snowman? Bam. 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 And bam. Okay. Before we head out. Boom. All right, let's head back to Erebus right now. Because that's what this is supposed to be about, right? The, Air the adventure in Erebus. That's what we're doing. But I wanted a door to keep my place safe. So we're going to put down some pressure plates. Drop that door on there. Let's grab my hammer real quick. This bad mamma jamma. I could have used the garage door. It's fine, but we'll do this. Only activate for players. Same thing. There we go. All right, so that's ready. Let's make these guys hardcore. I uh, can't make them hardcore like that. Um, holy stone. Now let's just use eighth dirt. Seems cool to me. There we go. All right. So we got ourselves a door. Our first door ever. Let's, let's get a little ways away from here. Because I don't know what this place is all about. There we go. We found our first cave. Good job, Batman. This is like the first like world besides the nether that I've been in. I don't know what the drops are going to be like here, but... You know, there's plenty of vines. I can see that. Let's get a little ways away from my exit. 
And um, let's go up. I'm going to bet that there's lava in this world because I'm already starting. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Let's take care of this real quick. So, as usual, dev null, super useful item, right? Uh, shift right click it, toss out what you don't want, put back what you do want. Now we could not worry too much about how much of this uh, umber stone we pick up because the dev null is just going to eat it all. There we go. All right, so we kind of got a path. Come on, get up in the hole. There we go. Right, up and away we go. Hey, look, there's gold. I don't know if I should be traveling up or down. I'm at a Y of 46, so I'm tempted to travel up. But I don't know what, you know. Oh, there we go. We found our way out. Now, I will say this. This place is very colorful. Brown mushrooms. Yes. That makes life so much easier. Interdasting. I'm happy about those brown mushrooms. All right, I do not know what the purpose of Erebus is, but I know that there's some stuff we want from here, and I'm pretty sure that there are things to kill here. Like uh, bosses, kind of similar to old school Twilight Forest, which doesn't appear to be a thing in this pack. Yeah, got you. So there are little bugs flying right there. Looks like we got some. Okay, I am, I am under attack. The bugs are not nice. They do not want to be my friend. I will be prepared to fight them going forward. And I will start with you, sir. You are a lot bigger than I thought you were. I thought you were a little guy. You are a very big guy. Very big guy. What is this? Red gem. I believe this is actually exactly what I'm looking for. And lots of copper here, apparently. Cool. Diamond. All right. Silver. Interesting little ore uh, textures. The gold's pretty obvious, which I'm down with, you know, because I like gold. There's a lot of gold, too. Look at this. Okay, okay. Let's continue to explore Erebus. Let's see. If, let's look in the quest log real quick and see what my quests for Erebus are. So, quests. Theta. Uh, we have unlocked the bug dimension. Very cool. Uh, I'm sure I could go look up on that spreadsheet that I was given the other day and see exactly what rewards to take, but I'm not going to, so I'm just going to take whatever I get. All right. So I need to kill a crush room. I need to kill an ant lion. And I need to kill a tarantula. All right. And what is this? Time for payback for those deaths from another pack. I guess this is stuff from the Aether. Yeah, these are Aethers. All right, so I need to go kill some stuff in the Aether at some point. Interesting, okay. We will look into doing that in the future, but not right now. What is that over there? So I have a very strong feeling that uh, I'm going to die in here because I don't have any super weapons made yet, and I don't have any... Uh, extra life, you know, white stones on me. I don't even know what I do with my white stones, to be perfectly honest with you. There is a crush room somewhere around me, though. I don't know what a crush room looks like, but I am scared. Dark capped mushroom. A Dutch capped mushroom. Interesting. So many mushrooms. Where is, where is this thing, this crush room we're talking about? I would expect it to be kind of, is that it? Let's throw a dagger at it. Yeah. Yeah. That was way short. 
Ooh, I got it. That, that's it. I'm killing it. Nice. Go, Ruby throwing daggers of death. Leveled. Nice. Plus one attack. Heck yeah, make them stronger. That's a dead crush room right there, boys and girls. There's our first kill in this dimension. That was easier than I had hoped. He dropped all kinds of cool stuff. We'll check that out in just a second. Collect my little... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you? There's another crush room around, apparently. All right, let's just jump up here and look at my loot. What did I get? I got a golden heart. Uh-huh. And we got laser focus uniques. Yellow, brown, gray. And I threw one off the hill. Uh, let's throw this and this into the pouch of doom. I probably should decide on some kind of organizational structure to keep all this stuff, but just don't care. That golden heart's pretty awesome. I'm happy about that. Mushroom hide. Epic shader. Okay. I don't know what you are, but I'm going to kill you. All right, so we've got a crush room killed. We need to find a tarantula and a... What are you? So many bugs here. A tarantula and an antlion is what we're looking for. These are stag beetles. Of course they are. They look just like them. Pretty awesome. Take a hit. That's for sure. So this, this is a place that I can come and fight and farm. That's pretty awesome. What? Now there are a couple of different structures that I'm seeing right here. What is this structure? Now this is this looks like a spider area, and I want a tarantula, so maybe this is what I'm looking for. Hello, bugs. Why do y'all remind me of things that are going to catch me on fire or freeze me? You know, because that's how it was in Twilight Forest. Right, hold up. We, we gotta. I don't want to keep using up all of my throwing weapons because I'm gonna run out of ammo. We need to just get ready to do this. But I do see that there is a spawner right here, and so if I'm gonna take these guys on, I want to be able to take them on correctly. Now let's see here. Goodbye. Vein miner for the win. What is this? A tarantula spawner. Okay. Well, let's just take that tarantula spawner home with us. How about that? Now we got a chest here. What do we got in it? An enchanted book of unbreaking, iron axe, and a golden chest plate. I'll take those. What are these little guys right here? There are silverfish running around. I see them down there at the bottom. Uh, we're going to vein mine this and get rid of the rest of this stuff. We got lots of cobwebs, lots of wood now, another enchanted book. All right, it's time for golden bag of... Oh, oh no, we're going to need something bigger than this, aren't we? All right, I got an idea. Let's place this guy out right here. There are all kinds of things just going nutso down there. Going ham. Right, golden bag of holding. Let's clear you out. There we go. Now everything's in that chest. And we'll put this, this, and that chest back in here. Now I do need my sword. I do need my wrench. I want my toast. I think that's, for the most part, what I need out of here. All right, what do we got here? Some jade. That's going to come in handy later. Let's just chop this chest down right quick. All right. 
There's so much stuff down here. Look at all this craziness. I wish I had some lava on me or something. But I can do the same thing right here. Oh, this thing's about to break already. And this one's not quite as, as full as that one was. Let's just lead them away from there and we'll come back to it. Plus my, my throwing weapons, they're refilling as we speak, so every moment is another weapon gained. I don't think these are what I'm looking for, but I just want to kill them all because that's what I do. I kill things. Blue ones, red ones, and green ones. How many do I have left? 26. This is where a crossbow would come in super handy right now. All right, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the spawner. Crap, I don't have my sword on me. Well, I have it on me, but not equipped, you know? Step over here for a second. I wonder if there's a nighttime here. I'm betting there is. The blitzes are shooting me. I'm almost out of throws. This is bad. This dude's trying to kill me. I mean, they're all technically trying to kill me. All right, let's just let's just get down here and fight. Oh wow, the poison is strong. The poison is no joke. They bit me a couple times, and I was like, nope, I don't want any part of this. Alright, we are definitely going to need to heal up. Because those dudes, those dudes are vicious. That's crap. That's crap. I'll take that. Nom noms. What did I do with those white stones? Did I put them inside of my... Um, this does not ever need to go in there, and neither does this. These two things need to always be on me. Stone. I thought I put my white stones in here, but apparently not. Apparently that is not what I had chosen to do with them. Alright, so we're going to need to get down there and get back in this fight somehow. What is this? Magic. Because I, I do want to get down there and get that loot, that's for sure. And it looks a little less guarded now, so. They are mean. They are mean spiders. I'm just going to continue to throw weapons at them. Works better.
I should probably just move on because it doesn't look like there's a whole lot left down there anymore anyways. Oh, I'm dead. They got me right here. Dang it! I died in Erebus, boys and girls. I should have known. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna we're definitely gonna go the route of making a crossbow. That was just decided by that little adventure right there. Let me see if I can remember uh, what the one that I used to make was. It was uh, I think it's Signalum and Endurium or Signalum and Magic Wood. Give me just a second. So let's see. I think I've got some Pokefinium. And I've heard that that's really good for handles, but I don't know how much Pokefinium I have. I know I've got at least a little bit of it though. Or had a little bit of it. Poke. Right here. Bam. It's right there. I've got two of them. I can make more of it because it takes blood. No, what? No, this is not what I want. This right here is what I want. Alright, so right there, it takes what to make it? Blood, iron, and cobalt to make cocophinium. Okay. So if I wanted to make a crossbow, is the bottom? Yeah. I think I need three for that, right? I don't remember. Let's go look. But I know I'm going to need cobalt, blood, and iron to make it. Crossbow body. Right here. Five. All right, we need five Pokefinium for that. Lumium is the other thing that I would want. And then the, the string. We're going to make the string out of fiery string. I know that. Um, obsidian for the tough binding. We'll give it reinforced. I don't know if I agree with this. Let me think about this. I'm going to make it with magic wood first. Just to give it max attributes. Like I always do, right? And then I'll go back and replace the pieces. Let's come in here real quick. Let's make a crossbow limb. A crossbow body. Uh, oh, can you do that? I forgot about that. Because you can't make the string out of it. So I don't know if this works anymore. Let's find out. It's not like that stuff's expensive for me to make, so I don't, I don't exactly care. Do I not have any patterns? Where? One, two, three, four. Let's have some fried rice for Din Din. It's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. All right, let's run all the way back over here. I need a portal just to get from one side of my base to the other. <laughs> Alright, let's make a bowstring pattern. Wait, that's a bowstring. Is that what I want? Yeah, I think that's what I want. Bam, fiery bowstring. Okay. So for a crossbow, crossbow dibbles. Where are you? Right there. I want that. That and that and that. Does that give me nine? No, that only gives me four modifiers. Because you cannot make it this way anymore. They fixed it. It's terrible. Um, okay. Let's see here. Let's grab some paper because I'm pretty sure I can make paper out of one of these to give myself another extra uh, thing.
It used to be signalum and thomium and whatnot, but it, it looks like that a lot of that's been changed. So I'm just gonna have to wing it and hope I, you know, try to make the best one that I can. Because um, I don't know really what else to do. Such is life. Anyway, that's fine. Um, so I don't think that I need to do go all the way through with that because I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get the... Uh, you're only going to get one of those modifiers on there. And I'm going to leave that on the binding. The other pieces I'm going to make correctly. So I need cobalt. And how much was it? Per? Can we make this in a dust form, or is this the only way? Looks like this is the only way. Okay. So we need eight micro buckets of iron to 16 micro buckets. Okay, so. Let's do one, two, three. And then we'll do this. Let's go make ourselves some pocophinium. Because why not? Right, you should be turned off. Let's also turn you off let's put you in that's gonna melt super fast bam bam and with that done let's get ourselves a I think it was pocophinium on the body yeah So this is what I want. Okapinium for. See how much we make when this finally all melts. Because it takes forever and a year. Hey, where'd it, where'd it go? Oh wait, it poured it in here. Okay, that's cool. Extract. And insert. There we go. All right, so we got some pocophinium. We got six of them. Let's drop that to the lid bottoms right quick. That'll get me the body right quick. And then I can put the other one in ingot format. At least I hope. Where'd the rest of it go? You said that there were six. Oh, I know what happened. I know what happened. It already poured. <laughs> it was that fast. It was like, bam, done. There should be a body. Yeah, there we go. That a baby. All right, let's toss this body in here. It gets me a handle modifier. Ocophinium. All right. And then we want to make some aluminum, I think, for the for the next piece. Aluminum, maybe? Right here, this guy? How do I make aluminum again? It is tin and silver with some glowstone. Run! One of these, how much does one of these give? If I smelt you down, how much do you give me? Is 
You have a bucket on me? I'm glad I kept extra tools around. They're gonna come in really useful right now. Although I don't know what I do with my extra engineer's hammer. It used to be hanging right there on that wall. Now it is just gone. Oh, it's okay. I know what to do to correct this problem. Say my first rodeo, kids. We need a piece of string. And we need a couple of iron ingots. Turn them bad mamma jammers into plates, like so. Click on one of these boogers. Get me a danged iron bucket. There we go. Right there, just like that. All right, that made 900. So I'm hoping that one gives 800, right? 100? That's what we're going for. One, uno, hundred. And I believe these take three to make. That'd be wrong. Perfect. All right, so you're orange and you're blue -ing. and you're going to give me a bucket. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, we need to make a schematic. Just need some lapis for a couple of these. Boom, schematics for the win. And we needed, I believe it was 10, 10, 10, and silver. So one, two, three. That's fine. And then run back over here real quick. Brush it all this down. Oh, I guess I could sit up where you guys can see me a little bit better again. All right. So. Uh, let's crush the silver first because it's kind of, oh, that's not crushing. That's uh, cooking. Wake up, JD. Crush silver first. I'll crush 10. This is going to go down on a 3 to 1 ratio. Let's get ourselves a new schematic. Click it. One of those. One, two, three of these. Check. Boom, there's four. Beautiful. All right. Turn that off. Turn that on. One more piece of silver. Death recovery is always the fun part, right? At least when we go back, we're going to be set up. Now, what do I want to make my bolts out of? Procophinium again, probably. Apparently, glowstone's really good, and slime fletchings are really good for the leaf leaves. We shall see. All right, let's get that started up right quick. So that would be more cobalt and more blood, more iron, right? One, two, three. I mean, I've actually got, I just need to make a tool rod out of the pocophinium I'm holding. Let me see what it takes to make bolts. It's been a while since I've made them. Do I have the pattern for that already? So, I believe what we want to make are these. Bolts or projectiles, we need a bolt core. 
So you'll make a tool rod, and then you want it out of Pocophinium. All right, so I think that's a standard tool rod. It's right here. Make a couple of those real quick. We'll come back to this in just a minute. So awkward not being able to jump around all crazy and be all fast. Bothering me. Bam, there's that. That's all done. All right. So we need to cook this stuff up and get our aluminum. We don't want to cook all of it. We want to make our limb out of this. Alright, so I got a Pocophinium tool rod, and there should be another one. There we go. Okay, cool. And then now we want to get our crossbow limb. Pop this out. And how many does that take? Four. Perfect. Okay, so let's get one, two, three, four. That's five. Bam. And then I'm going to want to tip these in refined glowstone. So I think, can we, refined glowstone. Can we just melt glowstone in here to get it? Where are these glowstone ingots? So I know I can get it like that. Can I just melt glowstone? Refined. No, that's not what I want to do. Hmm. I mean, I know I can get it in there like that. It's just it's not really how I want to get it in there. I mean, if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do, though, I guess. Uh, I have a tank somewhere. What did I do with it? I have another one of these tanks somewhere, and I have lost it. it sucks. Because I can just go melt it down over in the... Uh, Melt this in here. Locate. Well, there's a tank right there. Let me get a pickaxe real quick. You'll do. My good old, my oldie but goldie. The originator. All right. So we should now have that beautiful. Okay. So we should at least right now be ready to craft the crossbow. So the crossbow is going to consist of this. Along with this, this, and this. And that's going to give me an 1800 durability, two hearts of damage, draw speed one second, arrow speed 11.7, with two mod. What? With only two modifiers. That's. That is interesting. <laughs> if I put this on, I get three modifiers. If I put this on, I get four modifiers. If I do that, and then I come in here and start replacing parts, it takes away the modifiers, right? Nope, I get to keep the modifiers. I'm glad I did that. So very glad I did that. And we'll make an obsidian plate to go in that last position in a minute. In the in the uh, stuff binding. Okay, so I've got my thing here, and I want to put that right up there. And I want you to be disabled. And I don't have a Yetta wrench anymore, and that really sucks. Lay sigh.
No. Ah, oh, you piece of crap. Alright, so that's going to give me the Energized Glowstone that I want, be a Tiffle. I, can, I might be able to just melt Glowstone straight down in here. I'll try it in a minute, I just don't know if I can or not. So while I don't know, I'm going to stick this right here. I'm going to set this to Extract. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to put this there, because that's what I want to do, Extract. Right, that's what that's what we want to insert. Yeah, that'll work. So energized. Oh, that's not refined. That's just energized. Okay, how do we get refined? I'm just I'm I'm maybe just stupid. Okay, so the only way to get refined is to use this osmium compressor. I got you. I got you. Okay, cool. We'll just leave that there for now. I'll pull that. Actually, we can pull that back out right now. So, extract, insert. There we go. All right, that'll fix that problem. All right, so we've got to pick a different metal to tip these guys in. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for that. I'm getting very long in time here. And I need to drink some apple juice. I need to know, all right, so I know I'm going to need some of that. I wonder if Manulin is going to be the best thing to do, since it's one of the most powerful metals available to me. We're going to try it. Manulian tipped. Let's throw that in there. While that's going down, let's go ahead and make a boom. So now I can pop this bad mamma gemma in there and swap those and bam, there we go. And that will still leave me with four modifiers, but we'll add reinforce three to this bad boy. All right, so there's the crossbow. We just need to get the tip on it now. And we're gonna wanna make fletching. So I think we wanna make that out of slime. I think we wanna do it with pink slime, but I don't have pink slime. So we're gonna do it with green slime. And that should give us at least what we're going to be using as our uh, crossbow. All right, let's see if this will tip them. There we go, tipping that. And that should give me a bolt. There we go, beautiful. So what we want to do now, thank you very much, love, is, where, where, where did it go? I lost it. Right here. Oh, we've got more Pokefenium. Nice. All right, so Pokefenium bolts. Uh, we need to get the uh, fletching right here. My wife just brought me some delicious fried rice. Okay, hold on. I think I have to turn these into like a slime crystal or something, right? So slime. Fletchings right here. This is what I want. So to get to this, 
I think I need to make this. And to get to that, we need slimy mud. So yeah, it's been a while since I've done this. Sorry. Got to go get some dirt. Another slime ball. So we'll take that. And uh, one of those. And one of those. Right? Right. Put them in here. This. Man, that food smells really good right now. Bam. Slime. Muddy crystal. Beautiful. Run back across. I got a place to cook it right here. Boom. Boom. Come over here. Make the fletching. Bam. Okay. And then let's put the... This. So this combined with this. And this gives me 17 reinforced three... Um, really? Apparently terrible damaged. Okay, let's try not doing it with those. What gives the... What gives the best... Materials in you, volume one, mighty smelting. Let's check this one. Alloys, right here. No. It's not gonna be that one. It's gonna be that one, maybe. Uh. So right here, this is what we want to look at. Base attack. Attack, this is not what we want. Ar oh, I forgot about Ardite. Is Ardite good? Hmm. So Ardite, base attack to Cobalt, base attack to. Cobalt looks like it might be better. But see, look, Manulin, base attack, 2.5 hearts. So Manulin, hmm. I wonder if it would have been better if I had done like uh, a Manulin tool rod tipped in something else. I don't know. We're, we're just going to go with what we got. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, yeah, I did do Manulin. I, thought, I was like, did I do Obsidian instead of Manulin? Whatever. We're going to make it. We're going to rock it, and I'll deal with it later. I know that these got nerfed down significantly anyways. So let's see. There we go. That's ready to go. So we can fire it now. Beautiful. Pick this up. All right. How many how many modifiers do you have? Zero. Wonderful. All right. So for now, it's going to suck. <laughs> it's going to suck a lot, but at least I believe it's going to. I don't think I have any moss on me. But we'll be able to go back and get our gear back at least. And that's what matters. So let's get some armor. Preferably something that'll work. Um, hmm. I'm looking for something to let me sneak. There we go. These boots do it all. What is that helmet? Nice. Bam. All right, we're good. Uh, we've got a pickaxe. We've got this. My golden bag of holding is no longer actually as ninja prone as it was once was, but that's okay. We're going to go recover our bodies right now. Hopefully... I don't know what else because they might not, the, the body recovery will probably be the end of this one but we're gonna go get that body back I've got to do some research on making stronger weapons because apparently 
most weapons that I'm used to running have been really just kind of nerfed into the ground. And that's okay. Some of them were just stupid strong to begin with, so I'm okay with that. Ouch. How much damage am I doing right now? 11 hearts. It's actually not bad once I start stacking some uh, some additional modifiers and whatnot on here. It'll be pretty good. There's a crush room somewhere around me and I don't feel like dying to it, so let's not get crushed by the sh crush room. What sucks right now is that without having um, moss on these, they don't repair themselves. Alright, we got us a weapon in the form of an ender. I'll take it. An ender. The ender. Never, not normally referred to as an ender. I know there's at least one spider below me. Hey, how did I get recovered? Okay, that's the most important part right there. That ring of magnetization. That lets me pull all the rest of my stuff up here to a safe spot and we can store away what we need to. Wow, I did not do a good job of keeping up with what all I was picking up and putting places, did I? I got all kinds of stuff on me right now. <laughs> all right. All right, because I know I'm probably not going to be getting... Wait, wait, what, what? You sons of goats. Don't be attacking me. Attack each other. Sillies. They are attacking each other. Ah, what are these? A wood louse. Whetstone powder, huh? Okay, these little guys apparently don't attack us. That is good to know. We don't have to worry about the wood lice. Alright, so the things that are remaining here for me to take care of right now are a an antlion and a tarantula and it would be nice if I could make some moss and get this uh, these crush rooms somewhere around here I might after a crush room let's go out here and let's, this, this is a lot of lava a lot of lava out here it's like a, a baby nether desert what is up with the sky changing colors on me though there are lava bugs Cacti exists. Explore this area for just a minute. What, what, what kind of time are we at on the video? Actually, let me let me let me see where we're at timing wise because I don't want I don't want to let it get you know overwhelmingly long. Oh yeah, we've been going for far too long. We're at an hour. I wanted to. What are what are you? A bee. All right, so I'm gonna call it good there. Uh, I will continue to explore this area. Fire ant, huh? And. I will not kill any more of the bosses in this area without getting the recording set back up and ready to go. Look at that. There's stuff up there. But 
for our first trip into Erebus, I'm definitely having fun. This is kind of a cool place. It's annoying, um, mostly just because I don't know enough about it. But I think it's a cool place. Scorpions, look at those. This place is awesome. I, I am really enjoying myself in here, though. I will say that. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun playing this place for a little bit. Anyways, as always, guys, if you liked it, like it. If you'd like to see more, like it. Click that subscribe button. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you find yourself stopping by here frequently, you know, support me. So, so, so subscribe, all that good stuff. Other than that, leave me a comment. Let me know. What am I doing good? What am I doing bad? I'll be happy to try to do it a little bit better for you. You guys be good on another. I'm about to eat some uh, fried rice, and I'll see you all next time. Laters.